In this video, I'm going to take you step by step to build your own affordable DIY air cleaning system that anyone can build with just basic parts that you can pick up at your local hardware store. Now, this is often referred to a Corsi Rosenthal box. And with the recent wildfires in Canada and the fires that we have where I live each year on the West Coast, it's really a good idea to have a dedicated air filtration system in your house. Or if there was another pandemic where you want to make sure that your air, your breathing in your home is cleaned out and you're not having to deal with viruses in the air, this is a great solution to have. So what we'll do is I'll start off by showing you what you need. Now, the first thing you're going to want is four filters. These are 20 by 20 by two. Now, again, these are 20 by 20 by two. And at your local hardware store, you'll typically see 20 by 20 by one. And you can use either, but I went with a little thicker because I wanted these to be a bit more rigid when uh, standing them up. Now, you're also going to want to look for MERV 13. I believe this is somewhere here on the side. It's got an indicator. Yep, right here on the side, MERV 13. And if you're going through a manufacturer, let's say like 3M, you're going to want to look for uh, MPR 1900. And again, I'll put uh, all that information in the description with the specifics. Now, when I went to my local hardware store, they only had one inch thick air filters. And so I went online and I picked these up on Amazon. Uh, these are 20 by 20 by two, and I'll post a link if you want to check those out. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a 20 inch box fan. Again, 20 inch box fan. The manufacturer doesn't really matter. The one that I have here is a really popular brand that you'll see at Home Depot and some of the you know hardware stores. This is Lasco. Uh, I think a brand name named uh, Mainstay is really popular as, as well. And when you take these fans out of the box, by the way, we'll show in a second, don't throw away the box. We're going to be using that. Now, the other thing you're going to need is just a good pair of scissors, some duct tape, some string. I just grabbed some metal wire string off my workbench, uh, a nail, a thumbtack, a screw, whatever we're going to use this to draw a circle, and a Sharpie. Building the cube. Let's go ahead and start building the cube. We're going to start with our air filters here. And let's uh, pay attention to a few things. First of all, you're going to want to pay attention to the direction of airflow. There's an indicator on the top of the box that shows which direction the air should flow. We're gonna want the air to flow into the box. So it's gonna pull air from the inside and pull it into the box that we're gonna be making. Also, you're gonna to wanna to look at the pleats. As you can see here, these are ver you know just pleats and we want these to be uh, up and down as opposed to side to side. We want these to create a little more of a rigid stru uh, structure. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build this in such a way as we're paying attention to the airflow. We're gonna put this just simply we'll put each one of these boxes, we'll line it up on the inside of the one that we're connecting it to. So again, airflow, vertical pleats, paying attention. The next one here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna stick this right here on the inside of this one that I'm holding. And then the same thing, I'll look at the airflow here and I'm gonna bring this over and put this right here. And then we've got a cube. And again, these are just going from each one is touch, or going on the inside of the box as we go around. Now we'll go ahead and grab our duct tape. And what we wanna do is just uh, set it up first, just put some on the corners and don't have to mount every, or rather tie everything together yet or tape it all together. We just wanna start off putting it in a few places to just hold it in place as we set up the, kind of the foundation of this, so to speak. We'll go at the end and we'll tape everything down the way we want it. But for now, we're just getting everything to hold in place. Okay, so now I've got the tapes, just the corners tied down the way I want them. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, sides here. Again, we're just trying to just essentially put this, get it to a place where we have everything kind of set up and we'll, we'll do the final tape at the end on all the corners. So as you can see, I just kind of taped up the edges just to kind of square up the box. Everything looks good. I like the way it's uh, squared up. So what I'm gonna do is just finish by running the tape down the sides to seal these uh, remaining parts off so that we don't have any airflow coming in through this part of the box. Okay, so as you can see, I just went ahead and taped down the edges. And again, the point of this whole uh, taping up here is to obviously pull the frame together, but more importantly, to seal any cracks so air only will flow into the filters and it won't slip through any of these edges here. 
So next what we'll do is we'll take the fan out of the box and we're just gonna put it on top just to make sure before we put the base on this that the fan is fitting properly. All right, so we just put the fan on top and it fits perfectly. There's some areas here in the corners where we're gonna have to add tape uh, to seal it all off. But I just recommended you put the fan first just to make sure you double check your whole setup before you build the, uh, the foundation using this piece of cardboard. So now we'll jump into actually building the base. Adding the base. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our box that the fan came in, we're gonna cut a section off, and we're gonna add it on the bottom of this, set, this frame that we set up. And again, that's just gonna seal off the bottom part. All you have to do is just take your box and just double check. And when I add it on top of here, it lines up perfectly. Again, this is a 20 inch box fan. These are 20 inch filters, so it works perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and then I'll tape it on there. Okay, so I went ahead and cut this part off. And again, when we stick it here on the top, it sizes up really well. I'm just gonna cut uh, a little, this flap off right here. I'll do that in a second. But hold on to this extra piece. We're gonna use this in a moment to create what's called a shroud. And we'll get to that in just a second. Okay, I just cut that extra flap off. What I'll do now is tape this on. And we're now creating the base of this setup. So as you can see, we've now taped the base on here. All I did is just went around the edges and add duct tape on here. And again, the whole point of this is to secure the base and to uh, remove any other entry uh, areas for the air to come in whenever this is pulling air into the box. Add the fan. What we'll do now is that we've got the box built, we're gonna add our fan. But before we do, just double check that the air filters are set up correctly. Each one of these arrows on top is pointing as the airflow is coming here. Our vertical pleats are perfect. They're not going horizontal. We've got the base, everything's secure. So we're looking good. Now, as far as putting the fan on, Make sure that you put it up uh, on top of this so that the air pulls through the box uh, that we've set up the filters and blows out the top. So you don't wanna have the fan blowing into the box. So there's nothing more frustrating than setting up something or building and you realize you put it on backwards. So how many projects have I done like that? I've lost track. So we'll just uh, double check air is pulling, or rather pulling through here and blowing out. So what we'll do now is just take a look and we're gonna go through and duct tape uh, this all up. So now I have this mounted on the top and what you wanna do is just go through and visually inspect it. Just make sure everything's uh, sealed really well. On this particular box fan, for example, it's got a few holes on the side and I just wanna make sure that we uh, seal that off. It's because again, we just wanna make sure that the air can only come in through the filters here on the side. Building the shroud. So why build a shroud and what is it? Well, a shroud increases our efficiency of this device and it helps reduce noise. Now to make a shroud, all you're gonna do is take the other part of the box that we use uh, or that the fan came in, and we're gonna cut a circle in the middle. Well, to do so, what we're gonna do is take the string that we talked about earlier, and we're gonna put it with a nail or tie it on the end of a nail, a thumbtack, a screw, and we're gonna put that right in the middle of the fan, this nail, so that helps us understand where the middle is. And we're gonna take this string and we'll go out to the edge of the fan here. And so this is what I've got, that's about 10 inches. And what I'll do is I'll take and wrap, and I, I don't wanna wrap the distance that we just measured, but I wanna wrap the excess right here around the uh, pin. So let me just go back and double check this real quick. And yep, that's perfect. So what we'll do is we'll pull off the cap here and we're gonna stick it in the middle of our box. And let me just take a look real quick. Yeah, that's... Uh, about right. So, okay. So what I'll do is I'll just hold this nail down here and I'll draw a circle. All right. So now we've drawn a circle, not going to win any awards for that, but what I'll do is I'll cut on the inside. I don't want to just cut across. I want to start by cutting on the inside here. And then I just want to cut all the way uh, through the middle. And just one piece of advice, get a sharp pair of scissors. These are not sharp, so it's a bit of a fight, but they work. Okay, so we've cut our center piece out here, and what we'll do is we'll take this, and we're gonna have to cut a little of this off. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and put this on the top and this essentially will create a cover on the corners here. Okay, so we've dropped the shroud on and as you can see, the point is to cover the corners here where uh, the fan blades are not turning. So we're just essentially sectioning it off and covering these corners. All right, so as it mounted on there just fine. What I'm gonna do is just cut off the excess here on the sides and then we'll just tape this down in just a second. So we've cut out our shroud. Uh, I'll be honest, it's not the best example, but it is, uh, it'll do what it's supposed to do. It's gonna cover the corners. Now, you'll see that there are corners, you can cut these off, and we'll go ahead and do that real quick because I don't want a lot of overhang on this. Okay, so I've cut the corner off on our shroud here. When it sits on top, there's some gaps on the side, but we're gonna go ahead and tape this all up uh, with our duct tape. I did make this a little big on this side. I'm gonna cut some of the sections off again. Didn't do the best job in the world, but I was able to get the corners, which is what I'm trying to go for here. So just improvise where you need to. Okay, so now we've got the shroud mounted on top. Uh, this is not gonna win any beauty contests, I'll be honest, but as you can see, we've covered the corners up here, and now we've got this covered uh, the way we want it. Test. All right, so the moment of truth. We've got this set up. What we're gonna do is crank it up and we're gonna blow some smoke into it and see how it handles. So here we go. I've got it on high right now. Look at that, this comes right off the top. So yeah, works out pretty well, I think. So that's it in a nutshell. That's uh, it's pretty easy to do. As you can see, this is all from stuff that you can buy at your local hardware store. I'll provide some additional resources in the links uh, in the description and comment section below if you wanna nerd out on some research that shows how this functions. And again, I'll post links to everything that we use in this video. If you have any questions, thoughts, or feedback, feel free to post that below. And as always, stay safe out there.